Alrighty, covering authorization zone unlocking. Quick refresher, authorization zones show up as blue on the FlySafe map and they are unlockable either through the app in a live unlocking sense or can be completed with a custom unlock through the FlySafe portal. If you're gonna be unlocking live through the app, uh, steps you can see here on the left side. First thing first, you wanna power on the drone and the remote controller slash mobile device. This is when you'd be in the field within the authorization zone and then connect the remote controller if it's a smart controller, smart controller enterprise to the internet or the mobile device such as your phone, tablet, crystal sky to the internet. If your authorization has not been completed when you're attempting to start the props, uh, the display will prompt you for live unlocking of the authorization zone. Go ahead and complete the in-app prompts and then this live unlocking will last for 24 hours. This is what it looks like here within the DJI pilot app. It says, hey, you can't take off. You're within an authorization zone. Go ahead and click OK. Check the boxes. And then if you hit OK again, this is what you're going to see if you're not connected to the internet. So that's a good step to go back and make sure your device is properly connected to the internet. If you think you are connected to the internet, maybe try the internet browser or try a different internet connection point if you're still having issues. If you are connected to the internet, you'll see identity authentication here. Put in your phone number, agree to the DJI GeoZone unlocking conditions. You'll get an SMS code that you can type in. Once again, then you'll have a chance to check the boxes here. Click OK, get the unlocking successful notification, and we'll be good to go. As I mentioned before, if you're planning to fly an authorization zone without an internet connection, if you'd like to plan ahead and have the insurance of the unlock certificate already ready to go, uh, the alternative would be to use the FlySafe portal to schedule the unlocks. You can do it for future dates, uh, not necessarily the date of filing the unlock request. And these scheduled unlocks will remain for three days. Using the FlySafe portal will be detailed in our next section, but that covers it for authorization zones.